The Migrant Education Program serves students throughout Riverside County who migrate in search for their livelihood, which is agriculture, working in dairies or fisheries. Our students live here in the Coachella Valley and the family will migrate to other parts of California or the United States in search for work. That creates a lot of gaps in their education, not only academically, but socially. We serve students from pre-K up until the age of 21 years of age. One of the programs that we offer during the summer is the Migrant Career Academy Partnership Program. We want them to know that there's a world beyond the Coachella Valley. We started with 20 high school interns that were placed in areas such as doctor's offices, in politicians' offices, to make sure that they had those experiences. It opens the eyes of our students of what is possible. It's possible to be a migrant student and then be successful in business or in architecture and engineering. We want them to feel that they can achieve and they can succeed in areas of higher learning. An important part of our program is to bring in former migrant students who are now professionals. They come back to the Coachella Valley to speak to our students about their migrant experience, the motivation behind them applying to college, behind them wanting to succeed. And they also talk to the students about their careers. It's helped me in a tremendous way. When I was in elementary school, it helped me with food and it pushed me to want to be educated. It gives you an opportunity for equity. It gives you resources. It places you in a situation that you are able to thrive in. We survey students to ask them, what did you like about the Migrant Career Academy Partnership Program? Many of them love our speaker series. They also enjoy just being able to discover new careers in an office. It gives our students an opportunity to learn about the trajectories of those that sat in the same desks as them at Coachella Valley High School or Desert Mirage High School. My high school self, I would tell her, make sure you ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. You are valuable and you do belong. What we have discovered is that 100% of our students that have participated in the summer internship program have also attended college upon graduation from high school. I see myself attending a four-year university and getting my bachelor's in science and biology. And then after that, I would see myself attending medical school. I have recently graduated UCLA. I graduated in June of 2022. I graduated debt-free, and that was because of the skills that I learned during my time in the academy. On Fridays, the students come to our office here in Indio for professional development. We call them enrichment sessions. Financial literacy is one of the things that we um, cover very early and often. When you create a budget, you're able to understand how much money you have coming in, how much money you have going out. They learn about college and career readiness, how to apply to college, where to obtain financial aid, what about scholarships? So through our Friday sessions, we're able to teach them that. The majority of the skills that I've learned with the Friday sessions are just being able to work better in those environments. I now get a kind of a little taste of what it's like to be an adult. On Fridays, we learn a lot about banking. If I get my first paycheck, I'm gonna get a, a banking account so I can like manage my own money and carefully spend it. We wrap it all up at the end with the restorative justice community circle. In that moment, we use some social emotional learning techniques to not only build um, camaraderie within the group, but to allow any stressors that have come out in the week so that the interns are refreshed and ready for work again on Monday. I develop new ability to talk to people. I'll talk to my family about the day and I will usually do not talk about it. In these circles, you get to know who these people are, where they're coming from, and what they do. We have a lot of positive feedback from our partners out in the community. They are very pleased with our students. Our students are hardworking. They just thrive through this program. There are not a lot of opportunities like this one. I don't know another program in the Coachella Valley that is a paid internship for high school students. And so it's an educational goal for us to try and get in there, speak with families, talk honestly and openly about what the program is and the opportunities that it presents to their children. And the fact that we're able to do it in a work site that is not only giving them that pay that they need, but giving them the experience that is gonna help them in their future. My internship is at um, Indio City Hall. I mostly enjoy it because it's a new way to experience something new. I was really nervous because I had never been in that type of environment. But besides that, I was excited because I was getting experience just in that whole area. My name is Jesus. I am a senior at Coachella Valley High School. I am an intern in Desert Sands Unified School District. 
My name is Christina. I'm a student at Desert Mirage High School. I'm an intern at College of the Desert Student Support Services. My name is Jonathan. I am a senior at Coachella Valley High School, and I am an intern at Supervisor Manuel Perez's office. My name is Julian. I'm a senior at Desert Mirage High School, and I work at Desert Recreation District. My name is Perla. I am a senior at Indio High School, and I am interning at the Riverside County Office of Education. My name is Omar Brajas. I am an intern at Riverside County Office of Education. My name is Iqbali. I'm from Coachella Valley High School. I'm an intern at Riverside County Office of Education, Early Care and Education Program. 